fight between Javante Tank Davis and Terrence Crawford. How would that look? You know, there's some channels out there that, that seem to believe Tank knocks out. Put it like this. He said if Tank, you, you, you replace Gamboa, with Gamboa for a bud, right? Take Gamboa out, put Tank in. They saying Tank will would have knocked Terrence Crawford out at 140. I guess assuming, I guess saying because Tank got wobbled, because Bud got wobbled by uh, Gamboa. If that was taken, then he would have flatlined Bud. I don't agree with that. Now, without a doubt, Tank does hit hard. But Tank is hit too, bro. And Tank is a tough little motherfucker. But when you think about it, man, who has Tank really fought that has real power like that? Who has power in both hands and is hitting with conviction? I mean, what? The hardest punch Tank has faced maybe to date was Barrios and Roley. And even Tank said, yo, I had to adjust to Roley, man, because his, his, his power is real. He told, he said it. He admitted it. So one thing about Tank, he ain't going to lie, bro. He keep it real when it comes to shit like that. He kept it all the way real. He said his power was real. So you thinking that this is the same, this guy actually beats Terrence Crawford. More of a skillful dude than Tank, uh, more of a skillful dude than Roley and more skillful uh, than Mario Barrios. Come on, man. That's not going to happen. I I don't think Bud is chinny like all these people. He got a very solid chin. You know, so how would that look, though, if Tank was to fight Bud? Because they had words about this. Him and, him and Bud was exchanging words at one time. You know what I'm saying? And um, this was a few years back. They was exchanging words about Gamboa, actually. Because he, he said, uh, he because Tank said, Bud, you got hurt by Gamboa. And let's see what I did to him. And then Bud, like, what did you do to him? Like, why are you impressed? Dude is over the hill. And it took you how many times to knock him down? He knocked Gamboa down. Gamboa had a game leg. And he couldn't even knock Gamboa the fuck down. And keep him down until, like, later when they stopped the fight. But Gamboa is just, to me, he tough. I don't know why everybody be saying he chinny, man. Because he got up numerous times from Terrence Crawford, too. He got up. That's just, that's just Gamboa, man. But you you get no props for fighting an older Gamboa, man. I mean, you 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 you're a fighter, good. You fought him, but don't sit up there like Gamboa is his prime dude. You ain't fight a prime Gamboa. Prime Gamboa probably would have hurt Tank. You know what I'm saying? But a fight between Tank and Terrence, man. A certain channel claims that Tank Davis would knock Terrence Crawford out even right now at 147. Oh, come on, man. Y'all believe this shit? Y'all think Tank is knocking Terrence Crawford out, bro? Damn, I told you niggas hate that dude. They hate Bud, bro. The, the hate is real for Bud, man. Unbelievable. Bro, it even goes as far as to say this, this dude, his followers, man, he he posted something the other day about this 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 black rapper from Africa, right? Like, I forgot his name, man. Dark dude from he was the 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 rhyme was whack. It was some some funny ass video, dude with a backwards hat on, real dark skin. For like an African uh guy. And he posted a little clipping of it. His father would start talking about the dude's skin color. I thought y'all supposed to be about black people and black empowerment. But you talking about another black man's skin. That shit bothers the shit out of me. Like when people call Terrence Crawford, certain channels be dissing Bud's complexion. And bro, how you dissing your own people's complexion? You a piece of shit to do shit like that. That's You, you got a sickness, man. You, 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 you a real sick individual, man. Disrespecting your own people's skin color. Talking about the dude, the dude was midnight black, and he, I'm reading these comments. I'm like, y'all some real miserable cocksuckers, man. Y'all follow this motherfucker like like a like like a cult, and y'all just saying y'all just yes men. Like, don't I ain't disrespecting the man like that, bro. When I see, uh, I'm getting off topic with it, but that shit pisses me the fuck off, man. But anyway, there's no way in hell unless Bud stood there and let Tank just punch him all in his face. There's no way. He is knocking out Terrence Crawford. If he stood there and traded with Terrence Crawford, I think Tank will get hurt. Bug could probably get hurt by Tank. I'm not saying Bug can't get hurt by Tank, but Tank is a little motherfucker, man. You know what I'm saying? He's a little dude. He's moved. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't, I don't know if his natural walking around weight is. Wait, wait. One. I say what? One sixty something. A little fat little motherfucker. But 
Come on, man. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's levels to this shit now. Tank is a, is a skilled fighter. Not like Bud skill. He's skilled, but I don't think like Bud skill. He's skilled, though. You know, anything is, is boxing, anything is possible. I just can't see it happening, man. I can see him hurting Bud, though. That's a possibility, but I don't see him stopping Terrence Crawford, man. Just my thing. Just my take. Let me know what you think about that. If a Terrence Crawford and Tank Davis fight ever happened, who would win that fight and why? Drop a comment. It's your boy Rebel Life Boxing. I'll catch y'all later on the next one, and I'm out. Peace.